Alright guys, AshPFC here, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, just before we leave Lake Hylia, there's a couple of things. So, I think I checked this uh, previously actually, but it says, When water fills a lake, shoot for the morning light. Well, water has now filled the lake, uh, since we completed the uh, water temple. So, what we're going to do is quickly um, change it to night, and then quickly change it back to day. I guess it's reasonably obvious as to what you're supposed to do. So anyway, back today. So you want to get your arrows ready. It says shoot for morning light. So basically, want to fire at the sun as it comes up. Boom! There you go. And that will give us something. Let's go have a look at what we got. Alright, nice. We got the fire arrow. Yeah, so basically allows you to um, shoot, well, fire arrows. So if you go on your uh, items, and then you can switch between regular or fire. They will use your. Uh, Magic uh, meter as well. We'll drain magic when we use them. Alright, and just one more thing as well before we leave. Again, we'll quickly change it back. Tonight. Crack out the old long shot, which we got in the uh, water temple. Now we just look to the top of this tree here. Hopefully land on the branch. And there you go. A cheeky little gold skull chiller chilling out on top of the tree. Ah. Sneaky bastard. And there we go. And that will be... What number is that? Okay, I'm, the, I'm out of cocked up here because... I see... This is the second time I've had to sort of record this because I got a, some weird glitch happened, um, which I'll mention when we get to it. So I think OBS has saved what I input. So no, yeah, that's fine. I don't need to update. It says seventy six. So I can leave it at seventy six because this was the only school shell I got. So yeah, we're good to go. So that would be seventy six. All right. Anyway, it was next destination is Kakariko Village. So Navi will be uh, telling you you need to f um, find someone that knows about the sages. Presumably referring to Sheik. But how are you supposed to know where the hell Sheik is? Since he just pops up whenever. Where's the pawner at? There she is. Alright. To Kakariko we go. I meant to jump. Possibly didn't have enough speed there. Let's try this again. Full speed. There we go. Oh, 
Alright. In we go. This is where it glitched on me in the first recording. It wasn't accepting any of my um, buttons. I was pressing X and it was just doing that thing where it comes with a red X like you've pressed the wrong button. And just, I don't know what happened, but. Shadow. Huh. And he's gone again, just like that. So yeah, the next temple is the Shadow Temple, but we're not quite ready to take it on just yet. Because, well, we've got business down the well. There's a mini dungeon down here. But right now it's blocked off. I think we've already been down here. There's, there's nothing we can do. So what we actually need to do is go back to being a child. So to the Temple of Time.
Alright. Now we can go back to uh, the well. Now we've got the Nocturne of Shadow. We can quickly warp to uh, Kakariko. Be nice to have had this earlier on in the game, but so, yeah, the warp should pretty much to the entrance of uh, the upcoming um, temple, the Shadow Temple. But as I said, I'm not ready for that just yet. And it's right at the back of the graveyard. So we need to get to the well. I think technically, you can actually, you can do the next temple now if you want. But the game, you're supposed to get a particular item down the well. I think, I've never actually tried it, but I think it is possible. But yeah, uh, the well, as a kid, it's full of water, so you can't get it down there. This is where the windmill comes into play. So if you, remember we talked to this guy in the future, and he's all pissed off. His windmill's going really fast, and he blames the old greeny kid for playing the song. So... And then he teaches you the Song of Storms, which we learned a while ago, but, well, this is where it finally becomes uh, useful. Where is it? Song of Storms. So yeah, it's going to send the windmill here, why? This is why he's pissed off in the future. Because Link screwed up his windmill. On a bit of a, a brand stark. So you can now get down the well. To take on the, the mini dungeon. Bottom of the well. And this is creepy as shit. It scared little nine-year-old me. Although, I say that, I was, I was probably ten, I reckon, at this point. When I, mean, I got it in Christmas, 98. Birthday is February. Took me so many months to get here, so I'd have been ten years old. But it's still creepy in the 3DS version, but they did change some stuff, because believe it or not, we haven't seen it. Or played it. <laughs> in the original version, on N64. <laughs> There's actually blood stains on the wall and the floor. Like, really. It's crazy. Can't believe it got away with the rating that it did. But yeah, they removed those in the 3DS version. Still creepy, though. We've still got freaking skeletons and stuff. It's all death. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what we're after. So there's a lot of uh, fake walls, or invisible walls, in this uh, little mini dungeon to throw you off. And there's really only one thing you need to come down here for, but we'll go ahead and do it all. So, there's actually an invisible wall straight ahead there, and there's a giant green bubble that uh, rotates around this main room. Alright, notice that there's uh, a chest under there. There he is, Mr. Green Bubble. I'm just going to outrun him if I can. Right, these little pits as well you can fall down leading into this basement area. So you just want to... you stick to the water, you're not going to fall down them. But we'll be going down there actually, at some point. Ah! Alright, let the bubble pass. 
Alright, see, so yeah, we've got a Triforce symbol on the floor here, so we'll go ahead and play uh, Zelda's Lullaby. And that will drain the water. So I'm going for the main item first, because it just makes it easier. But I mean, it's your first time playing through, you don't even really know where the main item is, and I just you just saw I went through an invisible wall there, we'll come back to that. Okay, so back to where we started. The water's drained, so we can get down here now. And get this chest we want for some bombs. But we want to go through this little hole right here. Sculptures. Haja! Why does that symbol there on the door remind me of Skyrim? But here we go. I guess the dungeon mini boss. Right, see these hands sticking out? Right, you want to let one grab you. That's going to trigger the boss fight. Uh oh. There he is. Ow. So look at it. Look at the creepy thing. So it's called a dead hand. And again, in the N64 version, this thing had blood stains all over it. Seriously, go look it up if you had said it. Freaky. But yeah, you want to uh, avoid getting. Um, well, no. You need the hands to grab you to get him to come to you. But you gotta bash to get the hell out of there. Which I'm not doing a good job. Do you just. Give me a moment here. Freaky little prick. Alright. <laughs> you want to avoid the hands and let him come towards you. This is not a hard fight whatsoever, but I've just botched it. Right, he's going to lower his head to come bite you. Right, that, that's a chance to attack. Then he'll run off. He's a little pussy. And then again, just let hand grab you. Just want to bash and you eventually get free. And then you can just wait for him to lower his head again. That's all you have to do, really. As you can see when, when the first hand grabbed me, he spawned pretty much right next to it, which doesn't normally happen. I accidentally dropped a bomb there. Come on! The next time I'll probably kill him. Come on. Unhand me! So I did there. Very clever. Come on. There you go, that's all there is to it. There's no reason why you should ever really take damage in this fight, but I somehow managed to botch it. But yeah, that thing is freaking creepy, innit? Imagine taking that thing on when you were a kid. Remember, this was before I discovered Silent Hill the following year. But there we go, we got the Lens of Truth. That's what we came down here for. And that's what you need for the upcoming uh, temple as well as uh, some other things as well you can uh, get with it but yeah Navi shut up yeah all right yeah this place is just <laughs> dank and creepy some dank memes down here right let's get the uh, lens of truth actually I'm gonna want the boomerang and my bombs yeah, but Lens of Truth will basically let you see things that's normally uh, invisible. It'll let you see where the fake walls are. Once you see things you shouldn't normally see. But yeah, it uses your magic meter, but if you've got the double magic meter, that'll greatly help at this point. It's a pain in the arse if you've only just got the normal one. You find yourself uh, running out of uh, magic used to happen to me a lot as a kid and I couldn't use my lens of truth and it made things a pain in the arse. Anyway, as I said, that's the main thing you need. Everything else is pretty much optional but we'll go ahead and get what we can out of the dungeon. So yeah, there's a fake wall straight ahead there. 
and actually on this left side there's a chest with the key again hidden behind a fake wall and there's another one around this corner as well what are the skulls on the wall what the hell Nintendo right in this uh, room as well yeah, Navi's going to give us a notification there that there is indeed wall masters. And there's one right there. Away with you! Like in the other Zelda games in the Forest Temple, I grab you, take back to the entrance. It's not too big a deal, it's only a small dungeon, this. Right, you see there's a large chest over there. You cannot make it across that gap. That's the trick you're there. If you look over there, see there's a doorway. Again, the lens of truth will reveal all. So you can sneak around this way. And you get the compass. Alright. I'll be honest with you, I didn't mean to actually fall down there, but I was going to come down here anyway. Right, over there is a dead end. So don't worry about it. I want to go this way. Well, you see on the map, there's like four paths. There's re dead there. Ignore him. Over here in the corner. Another big chest. With... The map. Dead screaming at me. I think that's a dead end as well over there. There's some pots. Get some stuff with the magic jars we need them um, and decor nuts and heart pieces. And I think, yeah, I think uh, this Navi's going green there, but it's not the song of time you want to play. I don't think. If I remember right, it's the Sun Song. Get you a fairy. Yeah, the map's the main thing down here. You know, watch out for the poisonous wall with the hands sticking out. There's a reed dead there as well. He's decided he's going to scream at me and then just sit down. If you want to collect these uh, silver rupees along the way, because that'll open the door for us at the top so we can actually get out of here. There you go. Alright. Watch out for all the pits. Yeah, all the pits lead back down to that area I've just come from. Anyway. There is two locked doors. Got in here, and each one has a gold um, sculpture. Right, you can see there's an invisible pathway there. Go boomerang. So much easier with the hookshot. Anyway, there's one uh, gold sculpture. So that'll be 77. Alright, let's get to the uh, other locked door on the other side. There's a little chest there. We might as well get it while we're here. If I remember right, it's just Deku Nuts. I think. It's not important anyway. Is it Deku Nuts? It is Deku Nuts. Alright. Let's ch 
shit. This one out. Seventy-eight. It's just one more key to grab. Let's see, if we head over here again. Be able to get down here if you've drained the water. There's a little chest here as well. Oh, yeah, the recovery heart. It's climbing up. All right, so we've got some uh, coffins right here, and uh, I think this is our first encounter with a Gibdo. They basically just uh, a redead. They work exactly the same way. Quite a few hits. Do the annoying scream at you. Come on, Link. There you go. They're a hell of a lot easier than they uh, were in the original um, Zelda game because they were freaking deadly in that, weren't they? Took a million hits and god, they could kill you quick. Anyway, what I'm going to need is um, Taku sticks so we can light these. Uh, Candles. No, Link, put the ocarina away. No, it's not the time. Alright. You can uh, light these to open all the uh, coffins. But the rest of it, one of them's got a key, and the rest of them have just got. Uh, they've got enemies in. They'll have keys, they'll have a, a Gibdo. Essentially, I think this bottom one right here. No, it's not that one, is it? I think that one's got more keys in it. Oh no, it's empty. No, this is top one here. This has got the key in it. Yeah, there it is. I think this middle one has another gib doing it. It just floats out there. Uh, we'll leave him be. The other one as well. Uh, keys, I think, again. But what we needed here now is the key. There's a few more chests lying around this mini dungeon, but they've got nothing of interest in. There was actually, I think, one, you know, where I killed the, the dead hand. There was an invisible chest there you can use when you get your Lens of Truth, which has a gold rupee in it. But I don't need rupees at this point, do I? Alright, let's go back this way. through this hole over here. Can lock the door with the key we just got. Alright, this is not in right. Look at all these holes. Right, watch out for the keys. They are fire keys. They will burn your shield if you've got your deck of shield equipped. Got the beamos in the centre as well. Okay, shield's gone. Not to worry. Not to worry. It's a pain in the arse because you're trying not to fall down the halls and you're trying to target the key, so you end up targeting the beam horse and... Ooh, it's annoying. Alright. Blow him to hell. Alright. 
did lose my shield there. I expected it, to be honest with you, but it really doesn't matter because in this chest right here, guess what we got? Yeah, another deck of shields. Quite generous of them. Let's get that back on. Probably wise just to have your um, Hylian shield on, to be honest with you. Yeah, there's a, a threat of fire. Anyway, look at this dickhead of a room. You're gonna have a light like right there immediately, right? Just get the hell out of the way. Right, give him the boomerang. Give him a jump in slash. There's a good chance this guy's gonna get you. He's so close to you, but a couple of uh, jumpy slashes in. You'll take him out. And yeah, this is all we're after. Another gold sculpture. Ah, there you go. Token number 79. Chest in here as well, if you want it. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Annoyingly, they respawn, so you might want to make a quick uh, retreat into this uh, lower area to spare your shields. Pain in the ass having to climb back up, but you know, at least you still got your shield. All right, that's every that's everything I want down here. I said there's a few more chests, but they're of no use to me. Trying to turn the camera and it just targets something near you. Well, you're trying to target one thing and it's targeting another. Urgh. Game, target the massive Scotula, please. Thank you. Alright, we're out of that creepy place. My controller decided it wants to keep disconnecting. Thank you. But, um, yeah. We got one of there, which is the Lens of Truth, which means we're now uh, ready to take on the next temple. But uh, there's a few other things we can do just before the uh, temple. But anyway, that's it for this part, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.